Hi there, and welcome to Story Time with Uncle Bill. Man, we're just gonna be acting like a kid today, folks. Um, I came at you last time with some gumballs. I'm a landscaper. Uh, I paint. I've been a restaurant manager. Uh, I ran federal federal prison kitchen at uh, FPC Seymour Johnson in uh, Goldsboro, North Carolina, for two years. Last time we was here, though, we hit these gumballs. Landscapers and homeowners. Probably about the sixth natural dropping from a tree. Um, yard bombs. They're just not good for anything. Um, <clears throat> if you step on them, they hurt. Um, but they are fun for hitting. And the last time I swung at one of these things, oh, Oh, Julie, uh, uh, boots on the beast. He said I had a ghosty, and she was right, <laughs> and I was mad about it. <laughs> we didn't do it that time, though. And so these are small. You know what I mean? They're, it's a it's a challenge, and they don't have a lot of weight. You know what I mean? If you see now, this as a kid, this this backyard right here. This is a uh, this is part of fit in the year, but this is part of uh just having fun part because we're over at Ty's uh, grandma's house having fun. That fence would be the home run line. So if you hit something, a tree, a shed, try not to hit the vehicle or anything because home plate's right behind you. I mean, home plate's directly behind you. Let me show you where home plate is. Ready? I'm serious. Where'd it go? Right here. Here's home plate. Dodgeball, kickball, baseball, football, that was the end zone. And there's no there's no other uh, trees around here. Uh, the gumball trees that are dropping anything, the pine, the pine cones ain't falling yet. That's the number one. Pine cones will destroy a lawnmower blade in a heartbeat. But we got this, and this is special. And you can tell the difference. Both of these are horrible for your lawnmower. This is a magnolia bulb or pine cone, or I'm not sure. It's from a magnolia tree. Um, so we're going to launch these for a minute here. And uh, all these, oh, there's a burn pile right there. Everything's going to be in the thing. We just, uh, Break it all up at the end. Ooh, bam! Hit the tree on the first one. On the first one. Woo! Oh. And all the ones we don't get over, we got to pick them up. We got to pick them all up anyway. But come on, close that. Look, we got a nice eastern bat. Straight plastic. Wolf a ball back. Love wolf a ball. It's the objective to get my friends involved with my YouTube channel because my YouTube channel was never supposed to be about me. I just had to show my friends you could do it first. You know what I mean? Whoa! That was horrible. What's that called, Julie? Damn. Is that a trash can? Did y'all see that? Ooh. Tree. That's a tree. Wow, that didn't go over the fence. I got a Cubs jersey on. I think it's my Alfonso Soriano. One of the only few to 40 40 Homer Club. 40 Homers, 40 stolen bases. 
Definitely should be in the Hall of Fame. To me. Intriguing. Along with Pete Rose, Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens. I know what they did. Raphael Palmero. Big Cubs fan. Sammy Sosa. I'm a huge Bonds fan. Barry Bonds probably my favorite player. I'm from uh, McKeesport, Pennsylvania, right outside of Pittsburgh. Less than an hour. But I grew up in uh, Jacksonville, North Carolina. And you watch two channels. It was TBS or WGN. The Braves or the Cubs. Mine was the Cubs. And that went right between all those branches. My first favorite player was Ryan Sandberg. Shout out to Rhino. If you never seen his big game against the Cardinals in like, man, like 1985 or something, check that out. What a game that was. That was a good game, folks. Look it up on our YouTube. Uh, if you're any kind of baseball fan and you don't know what I'm talking about, Ryan Sandberg. Um, Ryan Sandberg's greatest game or something. It's unreal. Cardinals play. I mean, Cardinals played a good game, folks. Tree. I think Willie McGee went like seven for seven or something. It was crazy. And Ryan Sandberg beat their big closer, uh, Bruce Sutter. Man, it was man. I wasn't a fan. Then. I watched it all the time, though. Like 1985, I was like eight, seven, eight, something like that. Ooh, another ghosty. I didn't even pay attention. Just clear defense. Especially Pete Rose, man. You know, you, you consider Hall of Fameable for real when you get over 3,000 hits. The man got over 4,000. And you know, they're tearing down statues and rewriting stuff and everything. You, you bet on baseball, man. But I, I, you know, the rules are the rules. I understand. I really do. But how much, if you're a baseball fan, how much was the damn Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa home run race? Good God, them dudes was killing it. Matter of fact, like everybody was like more 40 and 50 home run seasons. Old Ken Griffey Jr., my man. Jim Tomei. But Sosa, but Sosa McGuire. They, was, they, they had fun with it, fun together on the field. Hitting home runs in each other's stadiums, high fiving each other. And then Mark McGuire played first base. <laughs> Warning track power. This one feels heavy. I'm gonna launch this damn thing. Oh, it's inside. You know, you got to, you got to, you got to get out sometimes. And this, 
This is a lot of fun to me. Oh, ghosty. Should have never swung with the ball. Be interested to see if y'all can see that. Came back in the yard after he hit the tree. Last time I stuck my hand in there, found a spider. <laughs> Got it again. This thing looks pretty. Do y'all see that? I'm about checking my form. I'm going to pull my head out. Ugh. Tearing that tree up. Ugh. Just this. Tree. Or vine, anyway. I don't think that one came down. Hips going up. Ugh. Tree again. Mark Gray Scott Rob for rookie of the year in '89. I think Mark. I'm pretty sure Mark Gray got more hits than anybody in the '90s. Fun fact, if you didn't know, pretty sure. But Chris Sabo won rookie of the year. Tree again tearing it up. You see how many times I hit that tree? Ugh. It just feels good when you hit it, folks. Ugh. You can tell you ain't hit a good one because you don't. You don't actually feel it. It's just a connection. That wasn't it. You can instantly, instantly. Boom. Two bounces to the tree. I like the Braves too. I mean, you did watch them. That was back Dale Murphy. But I'm more of the Ron Gant. Who's that? David Justice. Got it again. I'm ready to watch. I'm ready to watch this video. See how many hit. I know I got it about ten times. All right. Last one. Bottom of the night, two outs, bases loaded. Down by three. Look like a base hit, right? I do this a lot to pass the time in. Um, not that I have a lot of time to kill like this to pass, but it's just so much fun to me. Doing childhood things, coming back to childhood areas. 
then I'm going to be doing a cleanup. Uh, a couple of the women around here, especially along this strip behind me, they are 60s, 70s, and actually 80s. And um, they're doing, they do their own yard work, but they can't do it all. Um, we've had some storms come through. So it's blown all these gum balls, and it was going to fall anyway. Um, other branches and stuff have been long to clean it up. So I figured I'd show you what I do sometimes. You never know. Uh, it might be enough to get you out of a funk, a depression, maybe help uh, get some uh, nervous energy, anxiety. Um, I just got like a little workout out of that. I feel it all over the place, and it's fun. Plus, it's uh, hand-eye coordination, and you never know when somebody calls you up and say, hey, you want to play a game? Because I always do. If you can, hit that like button, share the video, subscribe if you haven't.